Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yesterday, I decided to close school, which meant that I had four schools I had to walk to this school. Four schools. So, I am extremely tired of my back is on fire, my feet are on fire, my whole body is on fire, and believe it, I think I overdid it because everything is on fire. Um, so yeah, I have four different school churches. Um, one is right down the street, which I have no problems with walking to. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, please. Hit the thumbs up. And I can't see who's watching, so hello to whoever is watching. Um, one of the schools are, is right down the street, and then the other three schools, they are like, when I looked at that was a 18 minute walk. But, here's the thing though, I left home at 10, I did not get home until 1.30. That's how long we were walking. So if y'all want to send Super Chat, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't know how the Super Chat works, but... That, I don't know. Uh, I am thinking about doing a, some kind of fun setup for hmm. Can you hear me? Let me see. Maybe. Okay, so can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me or say you can hear me. Okay, you can hear me now. Um, yeah, so my body is exhausted. Um, as you can tell, you look in my eyes, my body is exhausted because. How are you going to do that? Um, Stephanie, I am exhausted. My body hurts. Um, because I had to do all of that walking yesterday. Um, 
I left home at 10 a.m. and I did not get home until 1.30, like 1.45, 1.30-ish. That's how much. And mind you, this is constant walking. We were taking breaks here and there, but this was like constant walking because when I left one school, I had to hurry up and walk to the next school and walk to the next school and walk to the next school before they closed. So, and basically we're just like in the house, like, don't really want to go out because it's crazy. Everybody is buying all the tissue up and it's like, please tell me what can the tissue do? I didn't get that. Um, I just seen on I just seen on the Facebook that the youngest person to have coronavirus is in London. It's a baby. She delivered the baby. She thought she had the. She thought she had pneumonia. Um, turns out she had corona, so she passed it to her baby. So. Where did everybody go? Hello? Yeah, so that was crazy. Um, I had to cancel my planner meetup that I had because mm -mm, the way my body hurts and then the library because they're saying that older people are at risk there is a lot of older people that go to that library i don't feel like dealing with that so today is just like a chill day um the kids have movies we have food that is crazy that is crazy just like buying up everything like just because I don't get it I really don't um yeah I just don't get it it's like please tell me how the coronavirus can help you through I mean how diapers can help you through the coronavirus other than if you plan on if you plan on being quarant you quarantining yourself and you just, you're not going to come outside, then, I mean, maybe. But back in the day, they didn't have diapers. They had cough diapers. Like, only buying to resell. That's a hot mess. And if you look on Facebook Market page, they have somebody on there. They're selling hand sanitizer. The little eight ounce. Two of those for $45. Yep. They have already hit the marketplace on um, Facebook. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Um, luckily, like, like that kind of stuff you're supposed to have anyway. So, like, I don't get why, like, and like I said, unless that's your motive is to resell this stuff, Anybody in their right mind is not going to buy overpriced stuff like that. Like, like we have Clorox washing powder, pan salt. We had that anyway, so there was no need for us to go and bombard the shelves and just take all the toilet tissue and paper towel. Like we have the necessities already. Like there is no need to. Wipe out the shelves. Like, seriously, no need. So, yes, they are already on Facebook Market page. Two, literally, two little containers of. Make sure y'all hit the like button, please. Um, make sure you hit the like button. Like, like, like. 
can I, it's two people in here. Can I get both of y'all to hit the like button? It's three people in here. Can I get all three of y'all to hit the like button? Now it's back down to two. But can you hit the like button? Please, please, please. Uh, those little eight ounce containers of hand sanitizer. Two of those, I seen it on Facebook Marketplace for $45. So, I don't get it. Hey, Miss Vivian, how are you? Um, so, yeah, so that's been happening. Like I said, yesterday we got emails. Our school system is closed until March the 30th. I know some schools are closed until April the 15th. Some are closed until April the 6th. Some are closed until April. Right, you don't need the stuff to buy. Like, you should have this stuff anyway. So it was just like, stop. Um, yeah, so like I said, I had to go to all four schools. The reason why you see me sitting right here is because my body is on fire. Uh, I pray to God that I am not having a setback. You know, once you have a surgery, if you do too much, you can have a setback. I pray to God that I'm not having a setback. Have, pray to God I'm not having a setback, but my body is on fire. My feet are on fire. My migraines coming back like clockwork. Like, like I've been stuck in the same spot since yesterday. Um, I did a video. I did a couple. Thank you, Miss Stephanie, for hitting the like button. Um, I did a couple of videos yesterday and the day before that, but yeah, um, because I'm thinking I may have to stop filming for a little while, and it is simply because my chair that I do have, it is not working out for me, uh, and with me having migraines, when I'm at my desk and I'm standing up with my head is down and my head is already hurting, that's making my head hurt even worse. So I'm trying to see what I could do as far as like a chair um, because the chair is not working out for me. And like I said, my body is already hurting. Ah, hurting like nobody's business. So... Um, that's about it. Now, the kids, chat. this is like day one. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. This is like day one, and the kids are already talking about their board. So, with the schools being closed until March the 30th, I don't know what they're going to do. But, luckily... All of their teachers have sent enough homework, enough schoolwork home to where I can open up my own school in here. That's how much stuff we brought back. So they're good on that. But no. And luckily, I did my videos already. So. Yeah, but I do need to get up and move, though. <laughs> my, my, my hubby dear, he was not very happy with me at all. And just to be quite frankly, I think he is still mad at me because of how much walking I did. So he's watching me like a hawk. 
and I've been confined to my home. They don't want me to go anywhere because technically I did enough yesterday. So yeah, that's why I had to cancel the meeting because I was just like, and then I didn't know if the library was going to be closed or not uh, because everything else is closed. And so why wouldn't the library close? So I had to cancel that. I'm trying to see when I want to do the meetup again. Um, just because, you know, everybody don't want to, you know, come out. So you have to be respectful of other people and how they feel. So, and like I said, if your immune system is weak or it's, it's being compromised, don't go outside. Like, if you know you have immune system problems, don't go outside. So, like, for me, I have inflammatory issues. Technically, it was not a good idea for me to go outside because if I get that stuff in my system and I just had surgery, just say it'll it'll attack where I had surgery, I would be messed up. So I'm having to take that into consideration. So my family has quarantined me. Um, Like I said, these migraines are getting worse and worse. Ooh. Yeah, these migraines are getting worse and worse. Oh, my goodness. But I will be okay. I think I'm going to go sit at my desk for a minute. Just because this will literally be like my first time getting up. I had to put my belly band back on. Uh, I actually just took it off, but I'm going to have to put it back on. So, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Are y'all going shopping? Like, did anybody go to any craft stores? I wanted to go. But, I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, my next, let me see if I can get this thing together. Hold on one second, y'all. Ah, no. How dare you? God dang it. Disinfecting the house like crazy. I know what you mean. We did that. I think we did that yesterday. Yesterday, the whole house smelled like I'm. I need to find my thing. No lie. No stories being told. Yesterday, the whole house smelled like the whole house smelled like Clorox. We they were because again I can't really do that much so I had my kids cleaning up and I had them cleaning walls like, we were doing the whole nine yard. Um, 
anything looked like it was had in dirt or could be dirty, I cleaned it. We cleaned it. Well, they're going to have to Right, right. We already had that stuff. Let me fix this thing. Okay. So, yeah, like, we had that stuff already. Um, like I said, my boys, they cleaned up yesterday. They were wiping walls down, cleaning out refrigerators. They were... Okay, be still. Cleaning that refrigerator. I'm sorry, y'all. They were cleaning that refrigerators, um, throwing away stuff they didn't need. Today is mop day uh, because we have the industrial mop. We have the industrial mop downstairs. So... Y'all, I'm sorry. I need another tripod, it looks like. <sighs> but yeah, we... We were doing that. Let me see if I can move y'all back because it feel like y'all too close up in the grill. Too close in the grill. Uh, and what else? I'm going to put this on because my head is cold. can't hear me. But yeah. Who is that? What? To, to him, hit the like button, Elijah Kelly. My son is on here. So he's watching, he, he's watching YouTube and he sees you. Okay. Hit the like button, Elijah Kelly. He is on his phone watching me. Instead of hitting the like button, it'd be your own kids. It'd be your own kids. Okay. Yeah. Can you hand me my cover, please? So I put off my legs. Yes, in my room. But um, the next plan with me videos, I have those coming out tomorrow. So normally. Normally, I start posting those on Sundays. Yeah, normally I start posting those on Sundays. And I made this last night while I was sitting at my desk. I didn't make this part. This was somebody gave this to me, but I put the washi tape on here. So I made a washi card. And I'm going to show you all. This, so I made this over on my other channel, Thrifty Crafty Queen. I made this. This is some vellum. And I did that. That in the warrior right there. And then this is 
the back with my little sticky notes and all that good stuff. So, yeah. I did that. And this Stephanie, I'm going to show you. These are like the videos that I do. Like all of those dots mean I did videos. All of these dots, videos, 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 videos. And that was for January. This was for February. So I don't think I did as much in February like I did in um, January. I think it was because I had the surgery in February. So in February, I did a lot of bulk filming. But I just basically did playing with these and I didn't do anything extra. So Elijah. So I didn't do anything extra. And then and then this is the thing about that coronavirus. Everything that I wrote in here, it's not going to make sense now because I'm not going to be able to do it. So, like, the, the what you call it, the planner meetup, I'm going to have to put cancel because I couldn't do it because I'm thinking that the library is closed because everything else is closed. Who is that? And then here's another washing card I did. So, and as you all know, purple is my favorite color. Eli, uh, Aaron, go tell Elijah to come here, please. Birthmark is coming off a little bit. And he has a birthmark right here. It looks like a um it looks like a hamburger. I'm trying to find me some yarn. I could make something out here. Where is everybody? Is everybody out buying buying toilet tissue? <laughs> oh, Lord. Because only my kids can come when I need them. Any other time they're in my room bothering me when... Elijah! Of course. I didn't put her at the top because I noticed that when I put that Can you hand me that right there, please? No, the yarn. Did you turn it on? Yes. Um... Yarn. So, and then let me Thumbs see up. that. Uh, no, the white one. Are you watching my live? Yes. Thank you. That helps me with the views, sir. So I greatly appreciate you. Um. Right. Are you even a mom? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. How about that? And let me see that orange thing, the hook. Yeah. Um. No, it's not. Thank you. You're standing in front of my heat. Go tell him to put the heat on what I said to put it on. 
If you all are just coming in, can y'all please hit? That's why you should stop running. Yes, you was. Um, can you all hit the like button, please? So I got this right here from Dollar Tree. These little thingies were a dollar. Close the door. These little thingies, they were a dollar. <clears throat> so, oops. I'm telling you, I'm trying not to do too much, and every time I do too much, they gone. Okay, before I do that, Stephanie, I put your bow right here. I know I'm all over the place. Don't judge me. I put your bow right here because I noticed when I put it at the top, because I'm rough and I just start grabbing stuff, I was bending it and messing it up. I don't want to do that. So it's nice and safe right here. And every time I open this, I see this. So I love it. Yes, I still love my bow. Keeping very safe guards over this. So, yes, yeah, she is definitely not going anywhere. And she is nice. She is safe. She does not get damaged because I don't want her to get damaged. So, she stays right there. So, this bin I got from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, I got four of them. Two of them have, no, three of them have my stickers in them. So the stickers that you sent me, Stephanie, they're still in a Ziploc bag, but I have them sitting in these bins so they do not get destroyed. I don't have to go searching and trying to find them and they just get all mixed up and all the extra stuff. No, I like to stay organized so they're organized just the way you sent them to me, but inside the container. So, I think I didn't make one in this size. Oh, that is super nice. Thank you again, Stephanie. Thank you again. So, yeah. So, um, I am still asking for, because I almost got discouraged because it felt like I didn't have enough people rallying behind me, but... If you are able to donate this type of yarn, yellow, burn it, babe, burn it yarn. This type of yarn, you can get it off of Amazon or your local um, craft stores, but, and it's called School Bus Yellow. I would greatly appreciate if you want to donate those, that color. And then also um, cotton yarn. So I still have not given up on my bands, yellow bands. I have a dozen over here that I have not sold, but I'm still not giving up. So, you know. So what are we cooking for today? Today, oh, today I'm not cooking jack. Um, I cooked, what was that, Sunday or something like that? No, today is not Sunday, child. Um, I think it was Thursday, either Thursday or Friday when I cooked. 
but I didn't feel like cooking today. And plus, I'm trying to stay low. So there is enough food in the house for them to make themselves something to eat without burning me up in the house. So we're good on that. So yeah, so what else are we doing? And I'm just using this thing right here. This is a chunky loom, KD loom set. Uh, I'm using that. And like I said, yeah, so today is like literally a chill day. Uh, I'm not, now I call my kids in here and I still do not get my juice. Aaron! So I wrote down using this little notepad that I got from Dollar Tree. I mean, not Dollar Tree, but Family Dollar. So when I'm making pouches, I feel like something in my mouth. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing pouches, I, I know the exact number of pegs to use that way because when I used to do the pouches, and I wouldn't write down how many pegs I was doing, so I would usually have to start on the on the on the pouch, and then I would get halfway, and then if that didn't fit, I would have to restart over again. So I was constantly restarting over. So I just wrote that down. I'm actually going to put that in my planner as well. Yeah. So. Twenty, 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 twenty-one, one, and twenty-two. Yeah. And plus, these are like Aaron. Like nobody hears me. Can you please pour my juice, cranberry juice? And please do not slam that door. Thank you. Um, now watch you slam the door. Kids don't know how to close doors quietly. Yeah. So is there any sales that anybody are going to, like, I don't think so, Miss Stephanie. I think once I get a concrete time, because I'm thinking everybody think, thought that I was going to come on at um, 6. So, but when I start back doing the planner um, meetup, I need to find a time that is going to work. So, I know I did a poll and everybody said 6 o'clock p.m. on Saturdays. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, I could also go live on my Facebook page as well. So for my planning channel, um, instead of going live here, that is true. Uh, because even the 
even the go, I mean, even the wow style. Don't you know, I looked, I looked at the wow style. I looked in one of these sticker books. And they're bringing that back. That cheetah print is actually in the first Glam Girl sticker book. Yeah, you're not fooling me. Uh, the only thing that I like is dark grid paper. Like, I can I can buy all the dark grid paper. But as far as, like, the other stuff, I'm not just like, oh, my God, I need it, I need it, I need it. Because I don't. I really don't. So, like I said, the only thing I like is dark grid paper. Like, if you get me dark grid paper or those happy notes, I'm good to go. Because the happy notes, I use them. I, I use the covers. And then, like I said, the dark grid paper, I use that to bujo on. So, I'm really a happy notes type of lady. So, because my health planner... It's a 2000, 2019, 2020 planner. But in different colors. Yep, it's the same stuff over and over. And then also, also, get this. The stickers, somebody pointed it out though that the the sticker quantity is going down. If you pay attention to these sticker quantities, you're going to see a lot of sticker books that have like 300 stickers, 400 stickers, 400 pieces. The sticker quantity is going down. So that is another thing to look out for too. That's why I'm not just like, oh my God, I need it, I need it, I need it. Because I don't. Like I said, my health planner does not run out until the end of this year. Um, my social media planner does not run out until this year. And my my social media planner, I'll be ordering another one of those, but that'll be like in November or something like that. Um, my TN is undated. So I don't need that. Um, my kids' school planner that does not run out until the end of this year, and even with that, I right, right, you do. So, like for my kids' school planner, um. I may be switching over to another different type of planner. So, like I said, when when I get through, I'm probably the only thing that I'm probably going to have that is OG original happy planner stuff is probably my health planner in my yeah my health planner because. That's still on rings, and like I said, I bujo my son's mental health planner, so all I have to get is just um, dark grid paper with that, so yeah, I'm looking at, looking at one um, now to switch over. That's actually smart. That is so smart because somebody even said it in another video. They're waiting because you can get a planner now and then later on this year, you're going to be like, oh man, I want that planner. Now you got 18,000 plans when you just should have waited. Because think about it. Those planners go on clearance so quick. Like they have a ton of sticker books that's on on clearance now that just came out in January. So 
is definitely nothing to miss. I think now that um, I'm not like I have to have everything now, um, I could slowly start building my yarn stash back up. But then also, I'm not in like any big hurry to get any yarn because I'm trying to save up for a camera that I want. So, which I I may end up having to do a, I may end up doing a GoFundMe for that, but that's to help build my social media up because I do want the camera and I'm thinking about the computer, the laptop, that way it'll be easier for me to upload from home uh, because it does not look like I'm going to be able to go to work in the next couple of weeks because of the migraines and me going to a neurologist. So they're not even going to clear me to work for that. So, and just a little FYI, you cannot get disability if you have endometriosis. They do not count that as a disability. So that was out of the question. So that's why I upload the way I do. That's why I have so many videos and I just encourage people um, to watch because that literally helps me. When you watch a video of mine and you watch at least 10 minutes of it, that's helping me get something that my kids need that I can't get at the moment. Uh, at least until I'm able to work. So I'm going to see how that goes. And yeah. Because people do not realize that this is not easy doing this at all. It's not. Um, it takes a good portion of your day because you have to think about it. You got editing you have to do. You have um, thumbnails you have to make up. The physical I know and I, and I go back and share my older videos so they don't get lost as well. Um but the physical part of doing YouTube, like I said, I don't have the correct desk that I need. So this heater is getting hot. Like I said, I don't have the, the correct desk that I need. So um, sorry, my head and got hot. Oh, God. Um, I don't have the correct chair that I need. So for me, physically, it is straining. But me filming on YouTube, that's just something that I like to do. So now I just have to get my get my ducks in a row. So. So I had the I had my endometriosis endometriosis shot. Um the side effects to that shot right now, I am feeling it. Um I'm probably gonna have to go back to my doctor and I'm 
probably gonna have to tell him, okay, what can we do? Uh, because physically, the shot is making me hot, so I'm having hot flashes. Now, most of the time, I'm not appropriately dressed around my home, and that's because I'm in my birthday suit, (laughs) but that's because I'm trying to stay cool so I don't overburn. So, yeah, so like I said, with that, hold on, shot though. It is... It's the it, the shot is called Lupron. Yes, they are the worst. Uh, so like I said, most of the time I'm in my birthday suit. Like y'all call me on a good day, I got a shirt on. So normally I got like some shorts on and a tank top on with no bra, and my 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 foam bass is all over the place. That's normally how I am because I'm so hot. But, um, that's the only side effect that I feel. Like I said, oh dear. Yeah. I'm telling you, Miss Stephanie, my little friend blasts are just everywhere. So, you know, you caught me on a good day. I got a whole shirt on and some pants on. Um. But, you know, like I said, for that shot, everybody body is different. Yeah, that's the only, literally, that's the only side effect to it. And with that side effect, I could easily turn on the fan. I've been eating a lot of ice cream because I get hot. So when I get hot now, I just eat ice cream and I turn on the fan and I put on a little tank top, and I put on shorts. I try to get as comfortable as I can, and normally I get comfortable. So, like I said, for everybody, it body it is different because I know at one point in time, in the Facebook group, that was supposed to be a support group, but I didn't find it to be very supportive at all. Um, they were downing people for getting the Lupron. But you have to you have to open up your eyeballs and you have to realize everybody body is different. How the next part, how the next person body responds to the shot will not be the same on me. How the Lupron has responded to my body, it will not be the same for the next person's body. That's why we all have different DNA. That's why we all have our own fingerprints. That's why we have our own fingerprints. That's why we have, everybody has their own set of eyeballs. Everybody has their own set of T-cells. Like, we all have our different blood types. That's the point of everybody having different bodies. No one body works the same as the next person. So, to me, in that group, they were very discouraging, and I just could not take it anymore. I know when I took that picture of my stomach with the drains hanging out, and you would have thought I was showing a nipple. Um, They were just, and I told them what shot that I was going to get. They were like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Oh, gosh, she's taking the shot. Oh, gosh, she's taking the shot. I don't want to hit Susan. So, like I said, that's why everybody's body is different. And thank God. Yes, they were. They did. Yes, Miss Jennifer. They... They shunned me. I removed my picture. And then I removed myself from the group. Because it was supposed to be a support group. It was supposed to be 
um, endometriosis support group on Facebook. To me, they were not supportive at all. Um, so, I had to hurry up and leave. I even made a vlog on that. Um, if you watch the vlog of the endometriosis, um, I still, like I said, I still had my dreams and I was laying down. I was crying because I was upset. And, yeah. The vi- I think the video is called They Made Me Cry. Um, but, yeah, I was highly, I was highly upset. So, I removed myself from that and, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure my blood pressure went up on that video because, like I said, I started crying. And when I cry, my blood pressure goes up. So, I had to dismiss myself. So... If it makes you cry, then you're not supposed to be part of it. So, it made me cry. So, I was not supposed to be part of that group. And now, I just do my own thing. Bring awareness with the posts. And support my own self. And for those that support me, I embrace them. uh, Because everybody knows. So it's not like it was like some kind of big secret, but everybody is super supportive of me, and I am super super grateful. So never want to take that um, for granted. Never want to take that for granted. And like I said, I even and like even when I do the take my medicine really quick. That video was so embarrassing. <laughs> that video was so embarrassing. I'm going to try to post it on here on YouTube. That was so embarrassing. But I'm going to post it on YouTube. I'm going to try to post it on YouTube. I'm going to get him to um, send me the full video because he cut the video down. He didn't show you all what the rest of the video was doing. Like, I was just like, oh, my God. So, you know, like, and, and even like that, just a rare moment when I'm feeling good and I'm able to do that because remember last year and before that I was not able to do that like you wouldn't dare catch me dancing like that because I would be hurting so freaking bad I would be hurting so freaking bad so um I'm, it was embarrassing to me. (laughs) Okay, Miss Stephanie, bye-bye. Thank you for joining. Uh, But yeah, I'll put it on YouTube. I was mad at first, but now I can laugh at it, so. And people are still liking their video. I'm just like, oh my God. (laughs) The kids thought it was hilarious. I don't know, Miss Jennifer. 
I really don't know. I'm just... I don't know. But I guess I'm not too embarrassed. I'm about to put it on YouTube, so... That's some more content for y'all. One of the rare moments when when I'm up, shaking it. Shaking my groove, bang. And I'm telling y'all, last year, I was not able to do that. Last year, I was holding my stomach, bent over, crying because my stomach was hurting so bad. So for me to do that, I have came a long way. A long way. And then also, people need to realize that there is no cure for endometriosis. I can maintain it, but there is no cure for it. So I just have to watch what I eat, uh, stay on top of my medications, and... Yeah, don't overdo it. Yep, and my uh, C-section scars were bleeding. So, I definitely have came a long way. And until this day, my C-section scars have not bled. No bleeding. No bleeding. The only thing that me too, and thank you, Miss Jennifer. The only thing that has happened, and that was only because I had to, I had to walk to four of my kids' school yesterday, but that is more so like soreness. Um. So today is my rest day. I'm not doing anything. Um, so like, as far as like, like seriously, the bleeding, nope, um, sharp pains all the time, like hunched over holding my stomach, and like the only reason why my stomach did it last night, like I said, because of all the walking that I did, and I really think I overdid it, um, but I'm definitely sitting down today. Um, I'm not coming out of my house. I have everything that I need inside my home. So there is no need for me. It takes about a year and a half to recover from full surgery. Yeah. I was in trying to be superwoman. So. It definitely brought me back to reality, so I'm definitely sitting down, uh, and especially four schools in one day. I left home. We left home at 10. Now, the younger boys, my boys, they could take it because they're young, so that's nothing to them, But but for me... And just having surgery, for me to just have surgery, do without a car. Okay, so with the kids, Miles gets on the bus. Aaron's school is literally one minute. So he walks down the street and he's at the school. Um, like literally three streets over, the school is over there, so, the bigger boys, they get on the bus to go to school, and, like I said, everybody's cool, thank you, Miss Angela, hi, Miss Angela, make sure you hit the like button, Miss Angela, um, so, for me, because normally I have bus money. Well, on yesterday, I didn't have bus money. Um, and then also,
it would have been kind of hard for me to do it even on the bus or even on the train just because how their schools are placed. I would have went all the way around and was just, it was just like, oh. but yeah, <clears throat> yeah, now I'm wishing I had that bus money to, uh, to uh, go there because So, and like I said, my doctor has cleared me to um, resume regular activities, but he has not cleared me to work. So, it's going to be hard. Uh, And I'm just letting y'all know now, I will possibly be doing a GoFundMe. Right. I do not have to worry about school until the end of the month uh, because they don't go back until March 30th. Yeah. So, like I said, I will possibly be doing a GoFundMe and... I will, I will the GoFundMe will be for to assist me or to help in any kind of way that anybody can to um, help me while I'm not able to work uh, because I do I do YouTube so I'm trying to make that something that can be a source of income for me. So like I said, the GoFundMe would be for a camera, a chair, and a computer. Uh, not sure if I'm going to do it yet because, you know, when you do GoFundMe, everybody got a backlash for you ready to go. So I'm just putting that out there uh, because like I said the doctor has not cleared me to work and with the migraines that's delaying me even more because now I have to see a neurologist for the headaches so they're not going to clear me for this stuff um, and like I said Sorry, go ahead, see when you cut. Um, I'm going to have to look at that again because I'm not exactly sure, but I know they, they do take a cut. But here's the thing. Once I reach my goal, whatever that may be, they'll take the cut then. So say if I'm like halfway to my goal, and I go in and I say I want the money deposited into my account, they'll take a percentage then, and then if I meet the other half of my goal, they'll take that percentage too. So they'll take two percentages. I would just wait until I reach my goal to where they take that just that one-time percentage, and I'm good. So... <clears throat> So, like I said, I, I would possibly be doing that. Because, like I said, there, this migraine stuff is delaying me just a smidge. So, and then me looming and trying to sell stuff, you know, not everybody want to buy, buy the stuff. And, like, now... It's getting ready to be hot outside. Uh, don't nobody want no hat and no scarf. Um, and then this is another thing that I would get. Well, your husband is working. Well, my husband covers the rent, so he would not be able to cover 
getting me a camera and all of that. I don't want to take away from him paying the rent. <laughs> oh my goodness, Looney toilet paper. I should try that though. The way they out here buying this toilet tissue is ridiculous. Like, nobody has no toilet paper. I'm so glad that we, like, we have the necessities on hand. Like, the world has definitely gone crazy. I feel like I'm in the middle of, you know, that bird box. You know how everybody stayed um, confined to that one house and you couldn't open up the windows and you... I feel like we are living in 2020 Burger Box. That's what I feel like. I feel like we are living in, like, is this the Burger Box 2020? Like, what is going on? Jennifer, that movie is so crazy. Please watch it. And then once you watch it, you'll realize why I said, okay, is this like Bird Box 2020? Um, or if you watch The Walking Dead, I feel like we are like like in Walking Dead times. Like, what is going on? Like, everybody's losing their mind. Bird Box is on Netflix. Yes. Yep, with Sandra Bullock in it. Yep, it's on Netflix. But it definitely feels like Bird Box. I did watch the trials of Gabriel Hernandez. That, those people are hideous. I do not get how that many people seen this baby with, like, black eyes and just, like, scalps all in his head. Like, you see this, but why isn't anybody doing anything? Like, literally, nobody did anything. And his pictures, like, school pictures, like, you see him with a black eye. Like, what is going on? Like, it made me mad too. Yeah, his his teacher definitely tried. There were so many people that tried, but it was the people that um um the D D DHS workers, Department of Human Services people, Child Protective Services, they failed him. Everybody else was just like, okay. We keep warning you, like, do you see this baby? That To me, they should have been charged, too, because they kept saying that stuff was being covered up, and it was a mess. That baby was, he was hurt from head to toe. When they showed his picture of how his body looked, he did not look the same, and he was super swollen. To me... The workers should have been charged too. Because they kept sending him back home. I don't get it. They kept sending him back home. I don't get it. Those workers should have been charged too. Even the, even. I thought they dropped them. They didn't. I don't think they did any jail time. They didn't get. See, they were acquitted. They should have been charged and got jail time. And then also, their whole system is broken. Like, I understand at the same time. No caseworker, a caseworker should not have 200 kids. They should have been convicted. I understand at the same time, too, that 
one person, it'll be hard for one person to, I guess, have a voice or to handle 200 cases. The whole system is broken. And even after the, even after her, even after Hernandez case, there were two more kids that were beaten by their parents and killed. One of them was fed to the pigs. I forgot his name, but there was another little boy. He was tortured, killed. Right. There was another one, though. This one they didn't talk about in in that um, documentary. But there is another, I'm going to have to find, if I can find the article, I'll post it on my Facebook. But there was another little boy. He was killed by his parents, and they fed him to the pigs. That was, I have never heard of anything like that in my life. I don't know what a child can do to you that bad to where you feel like you need to kill the child and feed the child to the pigs. What can a child do that bad to where you feel like you need to hit, you need to harm a child that bad? If you feel like you're going to go to that level, remove yourself. Call somebody. Say, please. They are sick in the head. Call somebody and tell somebody, please come and get my child. I don't feel that it is safe for my child to be with me right now because I am not okay. Like you have to have, you have to have evil in your heart to do stuff like that to kids. So, I could never. And just like me tapping Aaron, Aaron has never had a whooping. Aaron is my youngest. Aaron has never had a whooping. We stopped. The only reason why, see, I only wanted them for the welfare money. But the Gabriel, the Gabriel little boy, they were, he was with his, his gay uncle, and apparently they killed this baby because they said that he was gay. They even called, he only lived with her for seven months. That's crazy. But she, they only hit Gabriel. So, it it made sense at the end when they kept saying that they kept saying that he was gay. Because at first when I heard it, I was just like, okay, you got two other kids, so why are you just picking on this one? And then when they said that uh, they kept calling him gay, all of it is sad. All of it is sad. Because trust and believe, if I ever feel like I'm getting out of control or if I cannot take it and I cannot handle it, I'm going to call somebody to come and get my kids. Because guess what? I love my kids that much for them to somebody to come and get my kids and me get my hair together or for me to go do what I need to do whether that means you go check yourself into a hospital or I heard that too 
it was just sad all the way around. Literally, all the way around, it was sad. And, like, you bring in his brother and his sister to help kill him, like, or maybe not kill him, but beat him. It was just sad all the way around. All the way around. They are definitely different. Definitely different. Um, And I have definitely a lot of hate and anger in the world. I know my limits. I know when I have just about had enough. And I know when to remove myself. Whether that be, like I said before, go check yourself into a hospital. Leave the home. Go for a walk. Then go for a walk. Cool yourself off. Get your thoughts together. Then come back. When you're calm, cool, collected. Or, like I said, have somebody to come and get your kids. Doing those things does not make you a bad parent. That makes you a good parent. That makes you have heart. That means you you have enough sense in your head to know when to remove yourself. You don't have any hate in your heart. You don't have any evil in your heart. You're thinking about your kids when you're saying, okay, I need to walk away or I need somebody to come and get them. That's not make you a bad parent. That makes you a good parent. What makes you is a what makes you a bad parent is when you are heated, you have lost it, and you're and you're just uncontrollable, and your resort is to torturing, hitting. That would make you that that makes you a bad parent. But walking away doesn't. Getting your thoughts together, get your head together, does not make you a bad parent. That means you're a good parent. Because we all need breaks. Everybody needs a break. Every everybody make everybody needs a break. Yes, when you when you resort to torturing, you are a monster. You're not a person anymore. You're a monster stuck in a human body. So that was definitely sad. Yep, she's she's just as much as a monster as he is because she allowed it. And I believe she has some I believe she has some part in torturing the baby. Like I don't believe I don't totally believe that she made him do it all and she made the kids do it all. She did some too. She just not own it up to hers, but she did some too. So See how fast she got into it. Yeah, that heifer is eating good. I don't know why she eating good. She should be getting, she should be eating cat litter. Just like she made her son eat cat litter. She should be eating cat litter. She should not be giving regular food. She should be giving cat litter. Just how they treated him is how she should be treated. And he should be treated. Just like and this how this how you know, cause she was trying. And they must have really good food, but they gave him death row. And she was smart enough; she got twenty five to life with no possibility of of parole. They were trying to do that. Her IQ is is not high, and and she has this disability. Where was her IQ at then? Because she was smart enough to take a plea deal. 
I cue my butt. She should be given the same food that she gave that baby. Cat little. She is, she is definitely but she was smart enough to take that plea deal. Right? She didn't have a low IQ. That's what they were trying to say though. They were trying to get her off on that. It's like, oh, she has a disability. She has a low IQ. Mm-mm. She was smart enough to take the plea deal, so her IQ was not that low. She had some sense in her head. I don't want to hear it. Had enough sense. I could watch Law and Order all day long. I don't care. Okay, Miss Jennifer, I'm going to get ready to get off of here too, though, because I've been on here long enough. So I will see you all next Saturday. I'm not sure, uh, but stay on the lookout for the post that I will make. Uh, But yeah, so I will see y'all next Saturday. Bye!